Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna shift away from medicine and do something a little bit different. We are going to do a try on haul. As you probably already saw on Instagram, Michael and I went to Italy and I figured this would be a great way to do a try on haul to see all the different outfits that I tried on for my trip. So just a little bit of a background. This video is filmed before we actually went to Italy. So we plan to go to Italy after Kentucky. We had a wedding in Kentucky with some of our friends from Kentucky we went straight to Italy in this haul you will see me try on different dresses for the wedding and then different outfits for Italy before I begin this try on a little bit of a background so some of the items I bought and then some of the items I rented from rent the runway if you don't know about rent the runway I'm not sponsored by rent the runway I sometimes do it when I have like different events or when I have multiple like weddings and a vacation because you kind of get a little bit of pieces and a little bit of inspo with their pieces. I did order some dresses from Rent the Runway for the actual wedding and some pieces. So we'll see if I end up wearing it, if I end up liking it. Only downside to it is that if they don't fit, you can't exchange them. You're kind of stuck with them until it's your next swap. Like you get two swaps in a month. After X amount of time, you can swap your items, order a new set of items, and then return those. Unfortunately, that's the one downside because if they don't fit, you are kind of stuck with them until it's time to swap those items. All right, let's begin this video. So we're gonna begin with this jumpsuit. I'm gonna go into the mirror so you kind of have an idea. So this jumpsuit is from Rent the Runway. It is by Ula Johnson. And I think it's a really cute outfit just to kind of throw on, throw it on with a pair of sneakers, throw it on with boots. And I love the colors. It's a nice transition piece for the fall. And I like the brown because I feel like it complements my hair. So I really like this jumpsuit. Only downside is in the full length mirror, you can kind of see that it's a little bit short and from the model, it looks like that's how it's supposed to be. Not sure how I feel about it. Let me show you. You see that it's a little bit shorter. I guess it's okay. This is how it is. I like it though. What do you guys think? All right, on to the next piece. Next we have this dress. I feel like it's nice, but just kind of just sits on the body. I guess it's supposed to be like that. Maybe what I'm thinking is to put a nice belt around it, like one of those Western style belts. So I'll probably have to order that if I do wear this. This is from Rent the Runway as well. What I like about Rent the Runway is that you have a little bit of high-end pieces and then a little bit of mediocre pieces. So it's not super, super expensive pieces, but then you have ones that are very, very expensive and it's nice to just rent those. So yeah, this is by Mink Pink. Great to wear with boots or sneakers as well. Don't like how it kind of just sits loosely. I mean, I like that it's a loose dress, but I feel like it just doesn't really do much for me. It's also an awkward length. I don't know. I'm gonna see how I feel about it. Maybe I'll order a belt and I'll see how I like it. Okay, on to the next dress. And we're in this dress. So this dress is by Zara. I saw this and I absolutely loved it. I love the colors and I love the fit. I love like the high neck, but then it's also a longer dress where you could wear with sneakers or with boots. I think I'm going to wear this with boots. So let's go try on the boots. All right, so these are with the boots. These boots are by Lofa Randell. I got them on sale maybe like a year year or two ago. I think this is a keeper. What do you guys think? I think it's a keeper. Let's go on to try on the next item. All right, next we have this dress from Rent the Runway. I was thinking of wearing this dress to the rehearsal dinner. Actually, it's kind of tight, but like I said, don't have any choice because you can't exchange it. I actually really like it. I think it's really pretty. Shoes wise, I would probably, so it depends because I don't want to bring a ton of shoes since we are going to Italy after. Probably just bring one pair of heels and wear it with both of the dresses that I decide for the rehearsal and the wedding. But I'll go show you the two options that I would do. Okay, be right back. Okay, so let's look at shoes. We have a sandal which is right here. 
And then we have a pointy suede mule. I kind of love both of them. I'll probably, I mean, really depends. If you want to make it more folly, maybe the suede mule. The sandals are by Stuart Wiseman, and then these mules are by Jimmy Choo. So I think I ended up getting both on sale. With shoes, I kind of like to really mix high and lows. I have some more expensive shoes, some a little bit cheaper. I get shoes on sale. I really like to mix. So I don't have like a favorite, favorite brand, but I do love Stuart Wiseman shoes and boots. They are very, very, very comfortable. So yes, they are pricey, but they are very comfortable and they last you forever. Okay, how do we like this dress for the rehearsal dinner? I think this is a keeper it's from Rent the Runway. Can't complain. It's actually kind of different. Maybe I'll even wear my hair up with some nice earrings. What do you guys think? I think this is what I'll probably do. Kind of like it, something like this. Okay, let's go try on the other dress for the wedding. Okay, so we have this next dress, which looks really pretty, but one, it's way too tight, and two, it is very, very, very short. I could barely button this in the back. This is way too short for me, and you can even see in the sleeves, it's too short, too tight, too small. I was actually really looking forward to this dress because I thought it was a really beautiful color, and I love the style. I love a little bit of the puff sleeve. It has a nice little belt going on on here. Going to have to order or find another dress for the wedding. I actually have a green dress that I, maybe you've seen me wear it already. It's from Intermix. I got it on sale and I think I actually may wear that one because it's a perfect fall dress and fall color. I will say, I think from now on, whenever I have like a wedding, I always rush to find a dress. I think from now on, what I'm going to do is if I see a dress that I really like on sale or a good price, I think I'm just going to buy it because I just feel like you always end up needing a dress. So that's my tip. If you find a dress that you like and it's a good price, get it. Cause you'll always end up needing it for something. This is a fail. Okay, should we go try on that green dress that I was talking to you about? I'll go try it on. Okay, so this is the green dress. I could even wear a pair of silver shoes, which are my wedding shoes if I really wanna dress it up. I guess I can go try those on for you guys. But before, this is the full body dress. Looser fit, but hugged on the waist, puffy sleeves. Let me go get the shoes. Okay, back with the shoes. So we have the black and then we have the sandal. These are my wedding shoes. I think they both look really, really, really pretty. But like I said, I'm only gonna bring one pair of shoes. So I'll see which one I decide on. I love my wedding shoes. They have like a sparkly heel if you can't see. Another pro tip, for your wedding, get shoes that you could wear again in the future. So if they're expensive, at least you know that you can wear them again. My shoes were by Sophia Webster and and I'll show you them right now as I take them off. So, fun heel, fun crystal heel. They're silver and they can make any dress or any outfit a little bit more formal. So yeah, I think I'm gonna end up wearing this dress. Let's go try some other outfits. All right, so next is this blazer, roughly shortless sleeve shirt and these shorts. These shorts are from Rent the Runway. Honestly, I don't really know if I like them. They kind of look a little like disheveled, I don't know. This blazer is mine. It's by Le Gente. I, I can't pronounce it, sorry. And then this shirt is from Zara. You could wear it by itself or you could wear it, like layer it with a blazer. I'm indifferent about the shorts. I like them, but maybe not. I mean, I could wear them, but I also got this skirt from Zara that I think will look really cute with this outfit. And then shoes, I'll probably wear brown boots. As you can see, when I travel, I like to, I mean, yes, it's wonderful if you can put a ton of different shoes and and accessories and everything in your luggage. But because we are going to Kentucky and then Italy, and then there's a lot of like different stops, I don't wanna lose my luggage. I may not even check my bag in, so I kind of have to limit what I'm going to bring. What I do think is, so let me go try on that skirt, but another option is if you just wanna wear like a little bandeau or a little top underneath this. Um, I got a few cute ones from Abercrombie, let me show you. These, these are from Abercrombie. So something like this would be really cute underneath. You want something really, really plain. I also got it in white. So this would be really cute. I actually like that too. It's like brings a little bit of a contrast as well. Let me go and show you that skirt that I was talking to you about. Okay, 
Okay, so this is the skirt, which I think is adorable. This is this skirt is also from Zara. I think either would actually be really nice with this blazer and this top. I may go with the skirt, but we'll see. I think I have to tighten this a little bit. Have you guys noticed that a lot of outfits now have that, that Western theme? A lot of Western boots, Western belts, Western skirts. Okay, I have one more skirt that I'm gonna try on. I didn't buy a shirt with it. I didn't know what I was going to wear, what top I was going to wear with this skirt. I'll show you the skirt. Online on the model, they were a red shirt, as you can see here. I'm not a red person. I don't like red. I don't think I own anything red. I figured I would look in my closet to see if I have a shirt for it. So this is the skirt. Let me show you the skirt. Okay, this is the skirt. I'm obsessed with it. You could even wear like a white blazer with this, like a white tweed blazer with this, which I have, but I really didn't want to wear another blazer. I kind of wanted to wear like a silk top or something like this. The different color, this is also from Zara. Purple, pink, greens, whites, like a darker green as well. So let me see what I'm gonna come up with with this skirt. But I didn't like the red. Or I mean, the red looks pretty. I just don't like red personally on me. I never wear red nail polish as well. I never wear red lipstick. I don't own red shoes. I don't own a red bag. I'm just not a red person. So all right, let me go try on this outfit. Okay, I found a shirt. I really like it with this black top. So this black top is from Intermix. I got it on sale. And they were having their winter sale earlier this year. I paired it with my black combat boots. You could also wear a white silk top, which I think would be a nice transition for the springtime. So you could definitely wear this skirt in the spring, but with a white top and then the fall time and winter time, wear it with something darker. So I paired it with these black combat boots. They have little pearls on them. They're by Stuart Weitzman. So am I gonna bring these boots with me? So maybe I could wear these black boots with that black dress and that Western belt if I'm looking for something a little bit more edgy. So we'll see if I decide to bring them. I wanted to limit the amount of shoes I brought, but there could be a chance that I bring that. But I really love this skirt, it's so cute. I know I said cute so many times in my last video. If I was trying to limit the amount of times I said cute on this video, but I really like it. Also, I'm debating if I I got a too big of a size. Like when I tried it on, it felt good, but now it's like a little bit bigger. You know when you don't feel like going back to the store to return it, when you don't feel like driving? I don't know. Maybe I could order the size smaller and then I could always return this next time. I don't know, we'll see. Anyway, that is my haul or my vacation try-on haul slash wedding try-on haul. If you enjoyed these videos, leave a comment below and of course like this video. Want me to do a little bit more fashion videos, then leave that in the comment below. I like to incorporate a little bit of fashion, a little bit of medicine, a little bit of beauty in my channel. I feel like it becomes less mundane. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll link a lot of the items below um, if they're still in stock. Otherwise, I will see you all on my next video. Bye!